All right, hello, hello, hello. This is your Dreaded Crypto Channel coming at you. It's uh, May 24th, 2022. Uh, doing a quick little recap. It's a little late, um, but I wanted to do a quick little upload video. We got Fear and Greed Index uh, again at 11. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're still we're still at a bottom. I'm calling this the doldrums. Um, we might go down a little bit lower, but give or take, I think this is really it. Um, maybe we stay down a little longer. I think we'll probably... It's likely that we're going to go down just a little further for another retest. Um, I don't want to take credit for that. Uh, the guy, uh, it's got Jordan, I forget his last name, Comrade or something like that. He's a really good YouTuber. He makes fun of uh, some of the big YouTubers in a, in a loving kind of way. Um, but he's basically saying that because of the daily RSI, we'll probably go back down, which I, uh, which I pretty much totally agree with at this point. I, I mentioned it yesterday. But the daily RSI is too high. Um, maybe we go uh, sideways and slightly down um, for a while, but uh, it's it's a problem that, that that needs to resolve. And more than likely, we're gonna make a W formation, or maybe we go back go down to like twenty three or twenty two um, off this. Uh, yeah, basically it's a bear flag, um, the measure and move and everything. Uh, looking at the four hour, four hours stochastic is. Neutral, uh, four hour regular RSI is neutral, so four hour we're not getting any kind of strength there. Um, take a look at the hourly just to see what kind of short term movement. I mean, maybe we get a little pump and then fall over. Yeah, hourly is way oversold uh, on the stochastic, it's ready to go down. If we get a pump, I'll be real surprised. It would kind of go against everything. Like uh, there is an FOMC meeting tomorrow um, with stock market stuff. Um, now the only thing that I think would maybe get us a big pump is if they say some positive news, and then all all indicators will probably just it just won't really matter um, all that much, which is, is you know is a possible scenario. Um, but all they have to say is a little bit of bad news, and this is going to tank. Especially if they're like, well, we're going to consider 75 basis points or something like that. Then it's really going to tank. Of course, the stock market would also tank really hard too. So, again, I just don't see that really happening. But regardless, indicators, daily is oversold on this toe. And then hourly is really oversold. Four hours neutral. There's really no – this pattern is just – it's basically – it's a symmetrical um, triangle slash uh, bear flag. So it's it's just this doesn't look that great. Um, it would have been nice if we'd had a little more volume buying pressure. People aren't buying this volume, really. I mean, I'm you know I'm sure there are some people that are accumulating, but they they ha they aren't yet. Um, a lot of people I think are waiting for that 25k, 24k, um, that region at least when it comes to Bitcoin. So. Um, the stock market did rally a little bit today. Well, it kind of went sideways, a little bit up today, but uh, it went down and up and sideways. Yeah, so not a whole lot of uh, it's, you know, stocks are still, you know, they, they might have some more bleeding to go. We'll see what happens at the meeting tomorrow. But uh, yeah, it's just the measured move. This bear flag puts us at like 22k. It just makes. It makes sense that we go down there. Either we go down there now, or we go back down and create a W pattern and then rise back up, um, and then come back down later. Um, I, I see that happening as well. So, again, these are just good accumulation zones. Um, uh, you know, I like to look at, uh, you know, if you're if some of these altcoins are definitely not worth worth a whole lot. You want to do your research. You want to have coins that are obviously you get staking rewards. You, while you're sitting around waiting for the prices to come back, you can get some interest on them. And I think I think that's the smartest thing. And if they are giving out rewards, that means their ecosystems are at least they have fundamentals behind them. So that makes the most sense. Um, yeah. So DOT, ADA, you know, uh, Ethereum, of course. I, mean, I think those are mainstays. Link, you know, anything like that, anything that's going to give rewards. Um, 
I, I use mainly a Voyager and Crypto.com. Uh, you know, Coinbase, I don't really mess with that anymore. I just Their fees are too high. Um, I think uh, really the DEX wallets are really good. Atomic Wallet and uh, Exodus Wallet, they're decentralized wallets. You can have your coins on there. You can still collect interest and staking rewards on them with different coins. Um, which is awesome and the, your wallets you know you have complete possession over them you're not they're not in custody with anybody else so it's your responsibility to take care of them I mean you lose the codes then you lose your you lose your crypto so you just have to be aware of that kind of a thing but uh, yeah uh, let's see what else I'm trying to think of if there's any news out there yeah, there's just a, you know we're in a bearish bearish environment right now, and there's just a lot for us to have to reclaim to be able to get above you know some support and start going up again. We we got three to six months probably of this sideways, and even then it's going to probably take. Let's just project this to get back up to this all time high, isn't it? Say we go, say we bounce down. Well, let's see. Let's say we bounce up, go down, bounce up, it bounce down again, and then we come on back up again. Maybe a rally in the fall. Yeah, you're looking at 2023 <laughs> before we probably really get going again. But that, you know, that's six months. Can we get through this? I think that's. It's the thing that gives you it gives you six months to be able to plan which coins you think are going to make it through this whole thing. Um, you know, also like coins like, like Polygon, like you get like fifteen percent. I think well, it'll be nine percent rewards on that now. But a lot of, some of the rewards have diminished. Synthetics, and they're they're working on synthetic stocks and synthetic assets. Um, Solana. Cosmos, Atom, um, Zilliqa, anything, anything like that. Uh, it's just going to be a long haul. I'm not really sure how this is all going to go, but those are the coins that I've been looking at. It's going to be interesting to see kind of what happens, how this whole thing transpires. Um, people are looking at different. VPVR supports. Let's look at the weekly. Let's see where we're at here. There's a lot of red we've had. Honestly, when I look at the Heikinashi candles, <laughs> look at all that red. Jesus. How many? It's, it's an eight red candles with Heikinashi. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Heikinashi works a little bit different, so it's not like the other kind of candles. Um, it just seems to me like God, so far with this volume, selling volume. Um, yeah, we just have a lot of resistance to take over. I guess the heaviest. 38k is really heavy resistance, and that and that's also about where the 21 week moving average is, and that makes sense. We'll likely come up to there and get rejected from it. It's going to take a lot of a lot of work to get back up there. And there's some support at 20k, mm, a lot of support at 89k. I don't think VPVR is really the right indicator to be looking at this yeah see there is support the 20k region we're in the lower bound of the Bollinger Bands pushing down so it wants to go down and continue to go down so we'll see yeah, hard to say <laughs> also let's see 
So I'm gonna look at one other thing real quick. If it'll allow me to. Not that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's really about it, honestly, right now. I, again, this is just good accumulation zones. That's all I can really say about that. Altcoins are getting slaughtered. So, I mean, what I've been doing is taking any altcoin that I have questions about and I just convert it to Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, ADA, or it's just a coin I really like. Uh, there's no point in being really risky right now. Um, there's a time, place for that later. Um, it's all risk off, so the best thing you can do is probably just be in Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. So, but there are some really good prices on coins. So, coins that you might really like, you're getting them at crazy good prices right now down 70 and 80 percent so that's that's pretty good so well, that's it for me tonight i think it's late and that's all i just want to do a quick video all right huddle on we'll see what happens in the markets tomorrow look out for the fomc meeting that's going to tell a lot uh, i imagine if i had to put a prediction in they'll probably be slightly dovish if not just neutral and the markets will interpret that as neutral slash bullish as long as they're not even more aggressive. If they get more aggressive, then everything's going to tank again. And I think they're about done with that, at least for now. But we'll see. All right, peace.